beautiful sunny Los Angeles, city of stars, and also home to about 2 million Latinx who make up almost half of LA's population. Latinx entrepreneurs aren't just launching businesses at a faster rate than any other demographic, they're also finding ways to infuse aspects of our culture with the things they create. Like Dulce, who found a way to make Mexican wheat candy? Hmm. We are the first Mexican-owned gummy brand in California. I became chef at 20, executive chef at 21, um, and I soon moved up the ladder in, in, in my hometown. I've been a fan of cannabis since college. I'm, a, I'm Mexicano, so drinking is like a big, big thing for us. So cannabis really helped me balance things out. When I first made these polvorones, so everybody knows what polvorones are, the sugar cookies you get at quinceañeras or weddings. So I made a small version of that with cannabis and I took it over to Mexico. So my grandma was sitting right next to me and she would tell me, mijo, I feel too good. And I was like, grandma, yeah, it's the cannabis kicking in, don't worry. She's like, no, 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 mijo, I feel way too good. This isn't gonna last forever, is it? And I was like, Grandma, if this lasts forever, we're gonna be millionaires, you know, like, we're, we're good. And just seeing that was like, okay, yes, this, this is what I'm gonna go do. I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're gonna go for it, and I'm gonna work as hard as I can and, and make it happen. So that's why it's Abuelita approved, because, because of them, I jumped completely into this industry and, you know, gave it a shot. As a chef, high quality food, so as an edible brand, high quality edibles. Gummies, there's nothing real for Latinos when it comes to flavor profiles. Everyone's using different kinds of extracts and they're not telling the consumer what extract it is. So with us, we're very transparent on how we do our edibles and how we make them. I mean, I'm a big dreamer growing up in Mexico and just knowing that I am American, but you don't live there yet because this and the border and whatever the situation is, it always made me hungry for the best, you know? They got some non-medicated ones, so I'm yep. gonna try the margarita just, just to see if it's true what he's saying. Oh my gosh, not true. Do it, do it. Ah, right? Wow. So lemon, lime, tequila essence and then the, the, the coating to really tie in the whole gummy as one. You can tell it's fresh, you know, like the, the ingredients that you guys use. Yeah, it, top, it, it tastes quality. like candy, but it tastes like like fancy candy, I would call it. Well, thank you so oh, much, man. Gracias. I wish you the best on this, on this journey. Gracias. Thanks for watching Radar 2021. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below, and let us know what issues are important to you. Because let's be honest, there are a lot of issues to choose from. <laughs> so, so many.